do that. All right, this is Jeff Ginter with Real Progressives on the floor of the Second International Monetary. Uh, <laughs> I want to try that again. Hi, right, this is Jeff Ginter on the floor of the Second International MMT uh, Conference in New York City. I'm here with Pavlina Chernova. I call her the uh, goddess of the job guarantee. Uh, Pavlina, in the recent panel you just gave, you told an amazing story uh, about visiting Argentina after having heard about the idea of a job guarantee. Uh, they went and implemented it on a certain scale, and you saw the effects. I'd like you to talk a little bit about that. Yes, uh, basically, you know, we got called in by the economists of the labor ministry who listened to some of our talks three or four years prior and mm -hmm. said, look, guys, you know, we just went through this terrible economic crisis. We pulled, literally pulled the, the program off the shelf and we just, you know, but there was a lot of also popular need. Mm -hmm. um, I happened to be in Argentina the day they floated from the currency board just for pers you know, personal trip. And I, I watched the people sort of on the streets banging their pots and pans asking for jobs. That was the only thing they asked for. Yeah. Subsequently, you know, fortunately, we were able to go and study some of these projects. So it was very interesting in, on multiple levels. First, to see how they went about organizing a very large scale program. Mm -hmm. We talk about 13% of the labor force, yeah. you know, 5% of the population. This is a lot. Yeah. Uh, and it was much more than they expected. So in terms of, you know, whenever we are told, you know, we don't have the institutional capacity, there are cases we could look to, even in the development context, yeah. how, how they manage. Um, and then just going and seeing the face of the unemployed, the people who benefited from the program. Yeah. They, it, was, it was very, very, very sort of transformative for me um, because, uh, you know, you read and you know your intuition tells you that all of these frames about the unemployed and yes. that there are no jobs or useful things to do are wrong. You know yes. it on the intellectual Absolutely. level. Um, but then all you have to do is just go and see it. Yes. Um, and how how specifically these communities self-organized and they they had a sort of a very bottom-up approach of proposal mm -hmm. um, that the communities and the organizations will organize. They will propose them to the municipality, the federal government, and they'll get approved. And interestingly, they, you know, they open up food kitchens, uh, shelters for, the, uh, uh, for, for victims of domestic abuse, mm -hmm. um, the more sort of middle income class uh, neighborhoods that lost you know, their jobs, they had little, little different sort of things like uh, community gardens, they had small little shops, tailor shops, you know, they were more skilled sure. people. So you could see how people created jobs that were precisely fitted to the needs of the unemployed and their skill level, mm -hmm. it was done from the ground up. And um, it had a material impact on the communities. The one that I, I like to uh, to highlight is a, a community that was called Suidad Oculta, mm -hmm. which means a hidden city. They had been so impoverished, so forgotten by the political economic process that they called themselves the hidden city. Oh my God. And, you know, three years after I had gone there uh, to look at these projects, uh, we sent a team of graduate students and the community had changed its name. They called themselves Villa 18. They no longer thought of themselves as invisible. So it was, it was uh, you know, quite, quite important and interesting to see. But yeah, just, just looking at uh, the reflections of women, mm -hmm. uh, that was another highlight of that experience because women were um, the uh, largest participants in this program, though it was designed for presumably male heads of households. Yes. And so it had an important uh, positive yeah, gender effects. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Pavlina. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. From the floor of the Second International MMT Conference, thank you.